Hey folks, uh, I had a couple of questions on uh, the hand pump or hand dredge, what I've got, and I thought I'd try and answer them on this video. I've just stripped mine down and uh, cleaned it out where all joints are. But there's another thing that I've been trying to work out is uh, a gravity dredge. Now, I know there are, gra I've just done an example in this video, but I'm going to try and explain it better now. You can, I've seen gravity dredges with just a long pipe working on fall, whereas You've got a siphon action and you're using that end to suck, obviously, and all your material is dropping down your pipe and running then through your sluice box uh, further down river, which obviously you, you're going to need a good drop on your river to get good suction. Now my thoughts on this, it's an idea whether it'll work or not, I don't know. I want to put a 45 degree in, in between, and have that as my suction pump. I'd put uh, some grill over end. So like centimetre mesh or something just to stop big rocks from going in and blocking it up. And at this the top end, uh some sort of funnel so that the water goes in like a like a flare on your on your sluice to, to push water through. And the idea of this is that as the water passes here, here will suck. That's uh, I've seen air systems that work like it. And the idea as I said is that will suck. You'll have always got water and suction coming from here, so it doesn't matter if you take this out of water for instance it'll suck air but the water will still pass that and carry on su suction so it'll, you can start sucking again where you're working which again this would be a flexible pipe which well it would have to be a flexible pipe and then whatever else feeds off into your box i don't know that it'll work better than that but i i think it might be worth giving it a try it's something i'm going to try i'll try and give you a better look my badly drawn pumps but it's a gravity pump. But anyway, here's a little bit on the hand sucker. It's nice to be nice. So guys, uh, I had a couple of questions about this hand pump. And basically all it is is two tubes. I'm going to clean it out actually because I'll, I'll show you why in a sec. But I've got this one and I've got a longer one. They're really simple to make. Just two pieces of tube. And I've got two two pieces of um, plywood what I've cut into rings I put a piece inside and another piece on top and I'm going to cut two pieces of rubber I've obviously screwed first piece of plywood that's a piece of plywood all that is is a piece of inner tube around it I just thought it might give it a bit more protection and I've got a rubber seal here and a rubber seal here and all it does is work with pressure by pulling it and on this end when I pull it the idea with this is that the the material will drop into this and not pump straight back out so the heavy stuff drops into this and when I empty it into my pan or my bucket or whatever I twist it and it, it pours out with water. Now because of how these pipes are put together there's gaps uh, like a little ridge inside and gold like sticking in ridges so I've never cleaned it out and took it apart since I've made it and cleaned it out so I'm going to just give it a quick rinse through and see if there's any gold in it. What would work good with this if you could work it out is a, a two-way valve. But the problem is with a two-way valve is that you're going to get um, bits of gravel and grit stuck in it so it'll leave it, it'll stop it from opening. Because if you, if you can do a two-way valve and pump it, on there you could potentially have a pipe to your sluice or something into a bucket. When you suck, it opens. And when you push it shuts and pushes your material out through into this i've tried a little bit of playing the experimentation and what i've made don't work yet <laughs> it'd have to be worked like a butterfly valve obviously because it's round so you can close and open but i'll open uh, i'll open that another thing what i want to be trying this year is a gravity um, uh, dredge we're not allowed to use pumps here by the water seem past that it causes suction here and it would and that would be a, your working end because you need like but you need a good fall on this basically it works by gravity like a siphon but you'd have water flowing in through this end that end coming out your sluice or going into your sluice and this end you'd be sort of hoovering up with as a sucker i don't know how much how, 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 whether it'd work better with a smaller a smaller diameter pipe here than here it might create more suction something i want to play with i'm going to give it a try but what i'll do i'll clean this out and see if there's out in it i will show you if there is or if there isn't i'll show you as well 
I've got a little pan here, I'm just going to wash it out. There you go. From what I can see, there's two tiny little specks, but absolutely tiny. They've probably got caught up in rubbers. One there floating up. There. And there. The other just got caught in rubbers. But it's quite a lot of material gets caught up in that. Try and show you how it works, yeah. But it's, there's quite a few videos on it. Just basic. And I think we're a smaller nozzle on that end. It's a bit more efficient as well because you lose some like that. But if you're working on on riverbed on rock that will suck everything up you can sweep it into a little depression as long as you've got water you need to have some water it will not suck it will suck air otherwise and it don't pick up but and if you clean obviously it's harder to do it inside a bucket I can't, I can't lay it at you know, an angle quick enough but it removed quite a lot of material see but with a smaller tube on end it would work probably a lot better as well which I've got a piece to do that with can't help myself I'll even put hand garden sand 